Hello, welcome to Diva's Paradise, a wonderful world of fashion, beauty, and lifestyles. I'm your host, Diva, and I'm doing this as a request. Today, I'm going to talk about highlighting and contouring. Someone sent me a request. They've been asking for the longest time, actually several people, can you show us a video about highlighting and contouring? First of all, highlighting and contouring serves to help give your face definition in that when we use um, contouring products, usually these are darker shades. I like to use shades that are two to three darker uh, two to three shades darker than a foundation I might normally use it will sculpt and chisel out areas that um, we want more defined it will recess the areas that will make them appear smaller or sunken in and then when I highlight basically that's using a lighter shade and it'll bring forward um, other areas or you know add more dimension because it brings it forward while the darker tone is sinking it in. I know it sounds confusing but when you see it in action you'll get an idea. Um, concealers and sorry highlighters and uh, contouring uh, products come in either powder in this case um, here is my sleek face contour kit I like to use a lot in medium they have several different shades okay you will notice there's a light color which is to highlight this actually has some shimmer in it and this is a darker shade it is matte to me personally I find it better to contour with a matte shade as opposed to a shimmery shade then another contour kit that I have that I also love is by makeup forever they also come in several shades this is their um, sculpting kit which is number four it has a very very pale white looking shade okay it's like a cream beige shade it is matte and also this shade is dark as well this is what you're going to be sculpting with this is what you're going to highlight with I do like um, this product especially because it is matte then we have other things you can use. You can use concealer sticks, at least I do, because Black Radiance makes a concealer stick and you see how dark that is? Now, this is not my skin tone, but because it is so dark, I can use this now to contour with. This is what I like to use. This stays in my bag. You can see this is all that's left. Actually, this is very inexpensive, depending on what kind of Walmart you have near you. This is where I got this from. I don't think it was more than $3. I like this. Um, to highlight, you can just simply use a concealer. I've done it before. Now, you can also use your foundations. For example, I'm just going to show you some contouring and highlighting using some black opal sticks. This one is black walnut. You can see it's kind of dark. Definitely not my skin tone. Um, Truly Topaz is one that I can use all over my face and the Heavenly Honey more so would be something I would highlight with. But just to give you some real, real exaggerative effects with the sculpting and highlighting, I'm going to show you something. Let's say, for instance, I'm going to use a very, very light shade. This here is Kalahari Sand, because I do like to use Black Opal as well in my kit. So let's just give you some real um, crazy stuff. Let's say, for instance, okay, let's just... Better yet, let's be more sanitary. I have two foundation brushes. One that I'm going to use dark product on and one I'm going to use light product on. So the white one I'll use for my highlighting and this darker one I will use for um, sculpting with the darker shade. So let's say, for instance, I'm going to just give you the exaggerative view. Let's say we wanted to get a non-surgical nose job. This is how we would do it. Now, don't feel any way, because white people, everybody of different races, use this technique. Matter of fact, if you look at Scott Barnes' book, he has a whole bunch of highlighting and contouring going on with various women of different skin tones, Asian, you name it. Okay, so I'm just giving you a very exaggerative view, just so you can get the visual as to how sculpting and highlighting works. This one happens to be Kalahari San. So now... Of course, we're going to blend this all, but I just want to see you, let you see. Then now a darker shade. What if we want to make our nose ultra, ultra, ultra skinny? Now we're going to go outline it with a darker shade. Okay, this one happens to be black walnut. I'm just showing you how it works. I'm just giving you the idea. I'm probably going to clean this off so I can do a proper tutorial. But can you get the visual so far as to how my nose is looking ultra, ultra narrow? Okay, so I'm just kind of showing you how that works, all right? So do you see if you kind of unfocus your eyes, it kind of looks very skinny. And then we can still 
highlight in here okay I'm just giving you you know a real exaggerative highlighting just so you could see what it looks like okay then all we do is blend that out okay now I've just gotten a non-surgical nose job do you see how that works I, I'm hoping the camera let's see if I could zoom in a little bit Okay, so you see how narrow my nose looks? Okay, that was being just very exaggerative. Let's say now, of course, you know, and if you look up close, you'll see a stripe. That's why you see people like Little Kim with these dark stripes. I call it Lion King nose. But, you know, if you blend it down really well. Now, technically now, because I've blended it down, I could probably go out just like this, and I would just have to powder it. But I just wanted you to see how that works. Now, let us say I want to sculpt, because usually for me, when I'm doing my makeup, or I'm doing someone else's makeup for a photo shoot or anything like that, we like a lot of sculpting, because sometimes the foundation takes away the natural plains, the hills, and the valleys of the face. So, let me move on, and you can just see how I do things. Here is Black Walnut very dark as you can see. I usually do like a C, right? I'm just being very exaggerative just to so show you where the dark goes. I do it around here because I have a big forehead, okay? And if I want to chisel someone's um, jawline to make the jaw look more defined, I would go under here as well, okay? Alright? That's just one side we're gonna do. Then, Let's take this very, very light shade. Once again, I'm being exaggerative, so it's showing up on the film. This is the Kalahari Sand. I will put that under the eye area, along the cheek, okay? Um, also on the brow bone, which really I should be using my brush. Go back and use my brush. On the brow bone, under the eye. I'm being very exaggerative once again. Are you going to walk out looking like this without it well blended? No. And I even put it under here. And see, when I used the stick straight, it kind of made my contour line too thick. I didn't want it this thick. But I'm just trying to give you the idea of how it works, okay? Let's actually go in and use our finger to blend that out. Uh, do you see how and then I can even do a little light under here because uh, basically as far as um, placement the darker shade when you suck your jaw in you should feel a hollow that is where your darker shade is going right in under the bone area okay and then your highlighter would go right on top of the cheek okay we hollow out the temples. It gives you more of a chiseled definition look. So that's when I did the C and it went like this. It gives you more of a chiseled look. Okay. And our light sh Oops. Oops, I almost dropped my brush. Our light shade, see if I get this in. Goes down under, just like this. Okay. Go back with our dark. I'm just showing you so you can... See the effect. And then the forehead, we blend it out. Into the hairline, okay? Into the hairline. Especially people like me who have big old foreheads, or five heads, whatever you want to call it. It helps to chisel off some inches off of it. And then let's go back with the, oh, here I go again. <laughs> Light shade of the stick. Just showing you how it works. Ah. and we blend it out okay so you see the difference with this cheek versus this one with no sculpting okay so hopefully this has helped you with um, blending and contouring you can go around here if you'd like okay wherever you want to bring forward Then I blend that out. And then if you like, more defined chin area. We go down here. 
I need outer parts. But this just gives you an idea. But anyway, hopefully you're understanding what's going on with the contouring and the highlighting. And this has helped. If this still does not explain things for you, because you can see the difference between this side and this side, then let me know and I'll see how I can best clear it up for you. But anyway, I thank you so much for watching and subscribing for your love and encouragement. If you have any other things you'd like me to do, just send me a message and I'll try to get to it as best as I can. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.